Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with the triangles and its properties. We shall start with the study of the types of triangles. Then we shall discuss median, altitude and the exterior angle of a triangle. Then we shall state properties of triangles and finally we shall discuss right triangle and its Pythagoras property. A triangle is defined as the closed curve made of three line segments. It has three vertices namely A, B and C. Three sides, namely AB, BC, and CA, and three angles angle A, angle B, and angle C. We can also name the angles as angle BAC, angle ABC and angle BCA. Side opposite to vertex A is BC and similarly to vertex B AC is the side opposite to it and for vertex C AB is the side opposite to vertex C. Hence we can state the side opposite to vertex A is BC and so on. Based on the length of the sides, a triangle can be equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle or a scalene triangle. For an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. If length of one of the sides is 5 cm, then the other two sides are also 5 cm each. But for an isosceles triangle, only two sides are equal. That would mean if one of the sides is 5 cm, then another side is also 5 cm. But for a scalene triangle, all the sides are of different lengths. For example, if one side is 5 cm, the other can be 4 and another can be 6. Based on angles, triangles can be defined as acute angled triangle, right angled and obtuse angled triangle. In an acute angled triangle, all the angles are less than 90 degrees means angle A, angle B and angle C all should be less than 90 degrees. But in a right angle triangle, one of the angle has to be equal to 90 degrees. That means angle Q is equal to 90 degrees in the given figure while in an obtuse angle triangle one of the angle is greater than 90 degrees for instance in the above triangle angle N is greater than 90 degrees and hence it is a obtuse triangle. Now suppose we also know the length of the sides of each of these triangles. Say for the first triangle if the length of the sides is 5, 8 and 8 then 
we can see that it is also a isosceles triangle hence we can name it as isosceles acute angle triangle similarly triangle pqr can be a isosceles right angle triangle now look at triangle lmn here all the sides are of different lengths and it has obtuse angle so it can be a scalene obtuse angle triangle